Hey guys, this is Sammy from TechBrew.com, and today I'll be reviewing, actually our very first video review for TechBrew.com, the OtterBox Video iPod case for 30, 60, and 80 gig iPod videos. So if you have a 5th generation or a 5.5 generation iPod video, this case is actually going to work um, just perfectly with it. So I've had this case for about, uh, about almost two weeks now, and I've been using it every day, and um, you know, from at home and at work and you know, at the gym. And I got to be honest, this is uh, this is one one really really nice case. Now, I don't do a lot of um, boating, or I don't do a lot of going to the beach because in Arizona, uh, yeah, we've got zero beaches. So, well, we got beaches, but they're lake beaches, and they don't really count in my opinion. I'm a, whatever. So, anyway, um, this is the blister pack. And yeah, I already opened it, so booyah. But <laughs> who says booyah? Seriously. Um, so this I, this OtterBox case is really really nice. Um, it says here, defend your iPod from your active lifestyle. That's you know you got to think about it a little bit you know. Um, and on the back it says, listen to your iPod music anywhere. Bra whatever. It's a it's a it's a slogan. Let's just put, leave it at that. Okay. So this is waterproof up to one meter and it provides uh, sand, dirt, and drop protection. Now, I didn't actually submerge my iPod in this case in water. Um, I can't afford to replace my case just in case, you know, I'm saying case a lot, just in case this case isn't as good, but I think it is. Um, I, don't, I just can't risk to, to damage my iPod. It's, I'm not made of money. I'll leave it at that. So um, here's the case itself. It's actually really, really nice. I really love this case. Um, I've got, you know, gigantic, you know, hands. So a case like this actually fits my hand um, really, really well. It does add a little bit of weight, but not much. Um, but again, it is a bulkier case. You probably won't be able to fit this in your, in your back pocket in your jeans. But if you're wearing cargo shorts or cargo pants, um, you shouldn't have any problem. So there's the front of the case, and actually right here, there's a thin little membrane. And the reason why it's a little bit darker there than it is everywhere else is because I actually have a best skins ever total body shield on my iPod video. I'm really, really like neurotic about getting scratches on any of my devices. So I put that on there and with, you know, plastic on plastic, it sort of creates that, um, it sort of like it adheres itself to each other. Not permanently, but, um, but anyways, it's like when you have saran wrap on saran wrap, you have that little, little sticking action or whatever. So anyway, that's what, that's what that is right there in case you're, in case you're wondering. But you can still completely play right through it. Um, I know it's hard to see, I apologize. But um, there it's clicking right through, no problem. And at the top we've got the headphone jack. Now I know a lot of you audiophiles out there are probably going to be concerned with is there going to be uh, audio quality loss at all by having this headphone jack port replicator thing on there. It really doesn't. Um, I'm big time neurotic about audio quality and using my Shure SE210 headphones um, plugged in through the case and plugged in through just the iPod I couldn't tell any difference using a lossless audio file or music file so in my opinion it's it's perfectly fine um, on the back we've got a belt clip and actually this belt clip if you can look to the side I know it's difficult to see but the belt clip actually offers a cable um, wrap solution which is really nice and the belt clip is completely removable. It just slides right off. So it's really nice. Um, On to the belt clip. These clips are really, really, really cheap. So I don't know how sturdy they are. I don't know how long they're going to last. Um, I'm not a big fan of plastic clips. It would have been nice if they would have offered like a leather type clip with steel or something. I mean something else. Um, like a loop type, I don't know, but um, anyway, it does work, and it does provide a very snug fit on your belt, um, but if you're looking to clip this in your pocket, it's probably not going to stay put, like, it'll probably just fall off when you get in the car, that's just my personal opinion, I put it on my pocket while I was getting in my car a couple days ago, and it almost fell off, so that's just me, but, um, but anyway, so on to the case, so it's got a little clasp on the bottom, and let me go ahead and open that up, and if I open up the case, that's actually 
all that it, that it expands to. And I'll pull my iPod out. And again, you'll see you know, it's just a regular 30, 30 gig iPod. And on the inside, you can see we've got the headphone jack up at the top. And this is actually a piece of foam. And I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says 30 gigabyte iPod video users. Um, it says remove, ad remove adhesive backing install in bottom of case. So if you have a 30 gig iPod video, you're going to want to take that foam, uh, that adhesive backing, and actually stick it to the bottom of the case. And the reason why is so that your iPod video is going to fit in there. Um, if you have a 60 or an 80 gig iPod video, you're not going to need that. Actually, you can just throw that away and it'll fit just fine. So close that back up. And that's the case. Now, what I did was um, I did I, you know I used this and I kept it in my my bag, my laptop bag. You know, I've got keys in there, I've got my power cable, all sorts of miscellaneous cables, thumb drives, and so forth. And the screen actually, this screen actually held up pretty well. I mean, there's there aren't any real visible scratches on there. I mean, you know, it's plastic; it's going to scratch. Um, if you're really really crazy about not getting any scratches, you might want to consider investing in some universal screen protectors and cutting them to fit so that um, you can keep that screen looking as pristine as possible. So, with all that being said, um, you know, there is no, there is no way to, to toggle the hold switch while the iPod's in, in the case. There's obviously no way of charging it because the clamp blocks the bottom portion. So, those two things and the really chintzy belt clip, even though those three things are meh, I still really, really like this case a lot, and I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10 because I really think this case is going to stand the test of time. And I think, you know, if you do have an active lifestyle, if you do go hiking, if you do go to the beaches, you find yourself in sand or in snow uh, or in a rainy place, I really think that this case is going to provide you with uh, excellent protection for your iPod. It is a definite buy from me. You can get this directly from otterbox.com. And please look in the post. I'll have notes uh, so that you can buy it directly from them. A quick, you know, pros, cons, and my overview. And um, so, yeah, that's the OtterBox video review. Uh, video review for the OtterBox iPod video case for the 30, 60, and 80 gigabyte 5th and 5.5 generation iPods. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I've got two more OtterBox uh, cases to review. And, again, thanks for checking out techbrew.com. That's T-E-K-B-R-U.com. Please tell your friends, um, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or things you'd like to see on the website, please shoot me an email, sammy, S-A-M-M-Y, at techbrew, T-E-K-B-R-U, dot com. Thanks, guys. We'll, uh, we'll catch you later.